Hi, my name's Michael Browning and we're here beside beautiful Babbling Brook in Hills of Victoria to review the very latest track trailer T-Van Hardshell Camper. The Mark IV incorporates a whole host of changes born out of 15 years experience in building these iconic campers. The T-Van has a classic silhouette that everyone who gets off the beaten track knows, but what makes this different is in the detail. With the exception of the roof panel, virtually every other part of the T-Van, 360 degrees, has changed in some subtle way to keep the same design, but just to simply make it better. While there are many changes outside on the new T-Van, one of the biggest ones is right here inside. The track trailer called it the Interior Command Console. This contains the workings for everything electrical that might be connected to this, whether it's solar power, whether it's charging units for your uh, iPad or phone, uh, a 300 watt inverter, stereo systems, uh, battery level indicators, and all the main switches to turn lights and other components on and off. Also out of sight on the Mark IV T-Van is a new 108 litre rear mounted water tank below me here. Previously the T-Van had two 70 litre tanks. Now another 70 litre tank is optional up front which would give you a total of 178 litres of fresh water carrying capacity versus 140 in the previous T-Van. Now that's a lot of self-sufficiency out in the bush. The wow factors on this new Mark IV T-Van are really outside and we start with this new front boot. It's bigger and lighter than the previous optional front boot available on different T-Van models and this means a lighter ball weight. Inside here you've got room for all but the very largest of portable fridges and it's very accessible. Also fitted to this new T-Van are track trailers, new sliding glass side windows introduced for 2015. But finally, new premium kitchen fitted exclusively to the T4 is right here. For a start, it slides out, no legs beneath because it's bolted directly to the chassis and it's got track trailer's own roller bearing slide, so it's a beautiful piece of engineering. And to stop the wind, this really easy to use wind deflector. Under this glass cover, a three burner gas cooker on top. Flick this switch, pull out this drawer and the kitchen becomes the whole side of the T-Van. Flick mixer tap and the whole works. If you think the kitchen of the T-Van is easy to set up, you want to see the whole rear tent area. But I'm going to call on my mate Lloyd Waldron of Track Trailer, who's an expert in these things, to show you just how quick it is. About four minutes, I think. G'day, I'm Lloyd from Track Trailer. I'm here today to show you the four minute setup of the Track Trailer T-Van Mark IV. I'll get started. Begin by undoing the side centre catches and lowering the deck. Undo the catches on either side of the deck here. When you fold it up, install the deck legs. They just plug neatly into these highlights you see here. Benefit of these deck legs is they are height adjustable. So depending upon your terrain, you can get the deck fairly level. The tent itself is behind the hatch. Lift it up, the gas straps do most of the heavy lifting. Under the zippers, all the way along. And there's three clips up the back here too. Get the one on the other side. Now if you're particularly height challenged, you can use this strap, adjust it, and lock it onto the body of the side of the van. That'll mean you've got access to the carabiners to lower the tent down the rest of the way. Take that off, pull it all the way out, readjust the strap and let it go back up into place. This velcro is very neatly away. So you've done this, it's just a matter of grabbing hold of these bundies and stretching it out. The next step is to go inside the tent and connect it. 
So I'm just stretching some elastic around the inside edge here. Pulling it all the way down and around. Doing the same on the other side. Once I've done this, just hop out, do the rest of the bungees. Two most important ones are on the rear here. Pull that elastic down and lock it on. All the way around. Last and most important is just stretching this over the edge of the leg. Just like that. Next step, we've got a bow up in the roof. I'm gonna slide that out. Pushes past the front here and forms the frame. Telescoping that out. Connect it into place. And the very last step, the breakfast bar. Just makes it all firm and gives you somewhere to put anything you like, really. Going to tie a couple of quick knots to hold that in place. And we're done. In less than four minutes, we've effectively doubled our living space. This T van is also fitted with sliding glass windows, which are flawlessly integrated into the body shell, providing additional airflow over the bed. This unique body design features an insulated solid roof and walls which protect the bed area and allow the queen size bed to be permanently made. Because the canvas is stowed away separately in the rear hatch, you don't wind up with canvas packing up on the bed like a conventional flip over style trailer, meaning your bed remains clean and dry. The new Mark IV T-Van is also fitted with the Interior Command Console. This system allows you to independently switch on and off any circuit for any electrical device. Wow, that was quick. And now we've even got breakfast on the go. Thanks, Lloyd. One thing I'm not is a chef. But I tell you what, pulling up on the side of the road, getting the kitchen out this quick, sort of can't go wrong. They say there's always room for a better burger and I think we've seen this with the latest Mark IV T-Van. Looks the same as the earlier ones, but a whole lot better in so many ways and just the perfect thing to take camping. Mm -hmm.